This is Joyce Frieden for the Global Medical News Network. Yeah. I'm reporting live from the Pediatric Hospitalist Meeting in Tampa, Florida. I'm here with Dr. Paul Hain from the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, and he gave a talk on throughput. Dr. Hain, can you tell me what is throughput? Well, throughput can be defined in a lot of different ways, but in its essence, it's how fast can you get your patients into and out of the hospital. Um, you can measure that by number of bed turns per unit time, by your adjusted length of stay index. You can use markers for it by delays in bedding patients from the ED and left without being seen in the ED. So there are lots of different ways to get your hands around it, but it's essentially how fast do patients get in and out of your hospital. And how did you work with throughput at your hospital? Well, I think this is a, a problem that lots of children's hospitals are facing right now. Um, as, especially in the winter time, there are many children's hospitals that are running over 95% full all the time. And so at the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital, we put in lots of different ideas to help us flow patients better um, using lots of different tools. Um, one of the points I make in the talk is that no one tool is specifically best for doing this. There's queuing theory, there's a theory of constraints, there's Six Sigma, there's lean, there's statistical process control. All of those things are very helpful in getting your arms around what you're doing and trying to make your process more efficient. Some of the things in particular we've done are to analyze our level fours and fives triage uh, in the ED and how to move them more quickly through our ED. Uh, we've implemented an access center so we have a hub for all of our incoming and outgoing calls. Um, we've leveraged our IT resources for electronic bed boards, electronic whiteboards, electronic ways to notify when patients are leaving so that we can assign cleaning crews to those rooms more quickly. There's a whole plethora of things we've been doing. And when you add all of those together, you get a much better throughput. And how would you advise uh, physicians who would like to work with this concept at their hospital if they don't know where to go or sure. where to start? You know, the first thing to do is become an expert on your process flow. So once you have the physicians who really understand what's happening in your particular neck of the woods, then it's really not that hard to start to become someone who can help with this. There are courses at IHI, there are courses in lean management, there are lots of places to go. Um, there's a book by Eli Goldratt called The Goal that I mentioned in our talk, which is very helpful in understanding the theory of constraints. There are a lot of good improvement papers out there in different journals uh, for quality improvement relating to processes in your hospital. All of those things are wonderful to learn from. Of course, the place that I think is best is to find somebody who's done improvement before and actually help them walk you through it. And once you've done a couple projects on your own, you'll find that it's not rocket science, it's just getting through and doing it. And once you've done the work, the processes improve. And was it hard to get management to buy in? What you you know, I, I think getting management to buy in is a key element of any kind of improvement. And there can be a little bit of a uh, catch-22 there because they want to see that you can improve things before they start backing you, but you need some backing to improve things. Um, however, I think many children's hospitals right now are in a situation where they have to do something to improve their flow because they are so full. And so right now you'll find a very receptive audience in the C-suite for helping you get to a point where you can improve their flow. And this has been Joyce Frieden reporting for Global Medical News Network.